So let's start to create our jitter radar chart here. You can see here we have the circle and then we have the dots spreading all over our radar chart. Now let's create our jitter radar chart here in chart.js4. First of all, make sure you have the border template, which you can find here on chart.js3.com getting started. Scroll down and copy this chunk of code. Once you have this, what we're going to do here is convert this. Basically what we're going to do here is create here a polar area chart. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here now we have this. All right, so now we have this. And then the next thing here, basically these, let's hide them for now. I'm going to show you later on why. So we have this part and all we want to do here is to control these items. So let's remove all of these items here. Uh, what we can do here, we're just going to get a single value and we're going to say this is the miles or kilometers, whatever you want, doesn't matter. So I'll just take the miles and then here label, uh, let's save this, let's see here, there you have that. Then what I want to do is I just want to remove everything and let's say our radar would have a 30 miles radius view. So from all the way there based on our center point here. So what I want to do next is remove all these shapes here. So we don't need these colors, but we cannot remove them like this. What we need to do here is just make this transparent. So we're going to force this as a transparent item. Let's save that, refresh, there we are. Next, what I want to do is I want to remove the border. So we can see the border width will be equal to zero. If I do that, refresh, now it's gone. But as you can see here, our tooltip is showing. So let's start to remove the tooltip. So in the options here, I'm going to say plugins, and I'm going to say here the tooltip and I'm going to say here, enable false. All right, since this is a Boolean, it should be using and recognizing this immediately. Next, the title here or the legend, we can hide the legend to make sure that this doesn't display. And of course you could give a title, maybe display, set this on false, save. There we are. And maybe if you are really uh, eager, we can say here, title. And then we say here, um, display, set this on true. And then we have to select the text, say miles, let's say 30 miles view, I don't know. I'm just making up now as I go, there we are. So now we have this here. So our biggest issue is how do we put in values in here? Because, and this is very nice, we have this item here, I'm going to use this. We're going to control here the items, make sure we have a comma here. So we have the scales. The scales here allows us to give us new coordinates, but I'm not satisfied with this here because you can see here zero to 30. And later on, I'm going to show you how we can use this nicely. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to say X. And for this here, I'm going to say here, the min value will be zero and the max value will be 100. So we have 100 uh points that will be easy to track so if i save this refresh you can see here it starts at zero but then it doesn't show the reason why the x scale doesn't show yet is you need to indicate the type by default it is a um a category type so what i need to do here now is say this is a linear type of chart and i'll make sure that it will start at the very beginning of zero save refresh there we are now we have this grid structure and this grid structure gives us full control on positioning because by default a radar chart or a polar area chart has a r scale and the r scale is basically the radiant or the radius scale anyway what we need is this and later on we need to remove them don't worry about that we're going to remove them afterwards now what we need to do is create a plugin because this here will not work without a plugin but before i make the plugin i want to have the jitter x and y coordinates so i'm going to say jitter and we can do this because this is allowed to do in our item and make sure that this is first a bracket because it's an array. This is allowed because it's still just a basic JavaScript object. So we can add up new objects in here. And then what we're going to say here, let's make in here some X coordinates. Let's say 50 comma Y will be 30. And then what I want to do here is maybe give it a color. Let's say here we have an enemy or a un or a UFO. I'm just, I'm making it up. And I go and say this is zero, mean no. If it's one, it's yes. Now, of course, yeah, I guess that that's not really the reality, but we just make up here stuff. So what I want to do here is we have 50. What we have to do, of course, is we have to be within these coordinates here. 
but not outside of this area here because that should not display. So what I will say here, I'll just make this simple. I'll say 60 and 33. And let's add up two more here. There we are. So we have this 60 and we have here nice formation. This will be 50 and for, uh, 40. And then we have another one here. This will be 70 and this will be 66. And this is our friendly item. So that's not a UFO. That's our ally. We can say here. Uh, uh, I guess here, uh, 68. So once we have this, of course, if I save this, nothing happens yet because it doesn't recognize this jitter dots. So now let's create these dots. To do that, we have the options here and just outside the options, we put a comma, we're going to say plugins, going to say bracket here, and we can give this a, a radar jitter or uh, as a plugin name. Then what I will do here, this will be the radar jitter plugin block. And then we're going to say constant radar jitter equals an ID radar jitter comma. Then we're going to say here, when would we like to draw this? We're going to say here, um, before data sets. That's fine. Sets draw. Let's put in a chart, arcs, and plugin plugins. That should be fine. Although we won't be using the last two, we're just going to get this one here. So what we're going to do here, object destructuring. If you don't know what is an object destructuring, please check out my video, Charge.js object destructuring. That's in the description box, by the way. We're going to get the CTX. And then what we need to have more is that we think we need probably the scale, the scales. And what we have here now is by default, normally we only have the R scale, but now we have added X and Y scale as well. So I want those to be shown as well. So we can get those coordinates. So once we have this, the next thing what I need here is to start drawing the item. So first of all, ctx.save to save everything as a default, and then we can start to work on it. Well, we have a few things here. If this is a UFO, we want to highlight that jitter or the dot as red. And if it's not a UFO, it will be a, um, a black dot. So it's a safe dot. So what we're going to do here now is the following. I'm going to say your constant, I can just say your jitter color and just make you an array or an object here. Quite simple, say zero will be equal to black. So it's safe and then one equals to red or let's get our nice colors here that we have. Let's copy this color here. It will be like that. There we are. All right, so now we have this here. What I want to do is I want to start to draw an item. So I'm going to say your CTX stuff well, fill style to give the color. And the fill style will be based on the jitter color. And then what I need to do here is basically the index number zero or one. So for now, I'll just put in your number one. So it becomes a red color. And later on, I'm going to make a loop for this so we can grab these directly. So then what I want to do here is I'm going to say your CTX dot, uh, what we want to have here is the, uh, circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very simple tool here. It's the round rectangle. So basically we're going to make a rectangle with rounded borders. That's what we're going to do. But we're going to make sure the rounded borders are in such a high value that it becomes a circle by default. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, let's say X or 10 by 10. And then we're going to say here the width and height as well. So basically this here is the X coordinate. This is the Y coordinate. This is the width. This is the height. And then we have here the radiant that would create eventually the circle. For this, 50 will make a nice full circle. And then we're going to say here for the x value, for now, let's do, well, let's put it in the center, 50 by 50. 50, 50. So you can see here we are on 50 and then 50 as well. Then what I want to do is I want to have a 10 pixel and 10 pixel shape. Once we did this, I want to say here, ctx dot and then we're going to say here uh, fill to draw that shape so once i did this and if i save this let's see what happens all right so we're getting something but look at this here it's what we call a bleed over the colors are bleeding over and we are now on 10 by 10 it does give us a nice circular shape so this is already confirmed this here we need to avoid so how do we avoid this well what we have to do here ctx dot begin path to indicate we're going to create a shape it is independent of anything else. 
So once it understands that, if I refresh here now, now it will not impact anymore this scale area. All right, so now we have this part and we're getting very close to it. What I want to do now is create a for loop. And this for loop, or sorry, not a for loop, but a uh, for each loop, we'll just grab these jitter values here. So what I'm going to do here is how do we get there? I'm going to say here data in the object destructuring. And then from here, from data, basically we go to data sets index zero, and then we can go down to jitter. So I'm going to say here, uh, just here, data dot data sets index zero dot uh, jitter. And then we're going to say a dot for each. And then with the for each, we have two values. We have the shorthand and we can say here, uh, uh, I guess uh, the coordinate, because basically this is the coordinate of X, Y, and indicating if this is a enemy or UFO, yes or no. Although I don't know if an UFO would be an enemy, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, that that's uh, up for discussion. Uh, all right, so then we're going to put in these values in here. So I want to put these values in there to indicate we have this item, but then we have the coordinate here. So we have this coordinate, and what I want to do now is I want to make sure that this fifty that we have here. Um, Oh, of course, I realized that this 50 was just only pixels. My bad. We have to convert it. So if I want to say here the conversion, I'm going to say yeah, x scale dot get pixel for value. And then it's putting here 50. If I do this, you will see that this would move here or move more to the right. That is correct. If I do the same on this here, which is the y value, save that, refresh. You can see here we're getting this here. Of course, it's not exactly in the center because it draws at the corner going there. So what we could do here is maybe uh, later on, we're going to fine tune it so it will be exactly in the center. How do we do that? Well, basically we can indicate here, we have these pixel coordinates. What I will say here is what we could do, I'll say here constant uh, pixel size or dot size. Let's make it number 10, 10 pixels. So I'm going to grab this, put it in here, put in there and then we're going to say here this minus the dot size divided by two this divided by two will be giving priority and then it moves five pixels to the right as you can see here if i do the same logic now for the y scale say refresh now it's exactly in the center all right so we have this here so this works now what i want to do of course is not getting these values i want to get the jitter coordinates here how do we get them? Well, we have this coordinate here. What I can say here now is for this coordinate dot X, because we're going to loop now for every item here and it will be 50, 60, 70, etc., etc. So we have those. Then we're going to do exactly the same here, but then for the Y value. If I save this, refresh, as you can see here, now it's spreading out nicely. Next, what I want to do is, I want to make sure that all these colors will reflect accordingly, because we have this hard coded, we can say here coordinate dot UFO. Save that, refresh. Now we have our friendly and then our red uh, unidentified objects. All right, so now we have this here. Of course, let's be honest, there's no tooltip in here. So that's the only thing I'm sure there are more advanced ways, but I have no answer for this as, as of now. What I do want to do is remove the Y scale and the X scale here because those have no value anymore. But we cannot do it like this. If I do it like this, if I remove this, we might get an issue, as you can see here, because our coordinates are missing because it doesn't have these X and Y coordinates. So instead of deleting everything, we're going to say here, display false. Just going to say, we just hide you. Basically by the eye, it is hidden, but the coordinates and everything structure is built in here. And that's basically it.